everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel this is beauty in the budget if you're new here feel free to subscribe this channel is focusing on a debt-free journey um, just being debt-free going through the process of that and you know just the highs the lows the good the bad the ugly everything um today's video is gonna be a little chatty I'm not gonna lie because I have so many life updates that's going on like life has just been like uh, all over the place <laughs> but i went to the bank this morning and i got my starbucks kind of like my routine i go to the bank when i get paid and then i get starbucks so in this video i'm just going to be explaining a few updates that i have in terms of my finances and in life in general and how it's going to affect my finances so if you're interested please feel free to stick around um if not you can always go down below and click straight to the cash stuffing and you can get the balances of my accounts after my side income I did do 14 hours of overtime and I get paid for that next week so I will be cash stuffing that as well so stay tuned for that so to make a long story short I'm moving out <laughs> yep I am moving out and it's something that I've been thinking about doing and I finally feel like this is the time to do it um, I actually found an apartment not too far from where I am right now and um, I already applied for it and I was approved for it, but I didn't sign a lease or anything. So I realized that I still have options out here. The apartment that I did find has like beautiful amenities. It's a movie room, it's a rooftop, lounge, you know, luxury style, everything. Um, but the actual apartment is 480 square feet and <laughs> that's basically a room, which I mean, at the end of the day, I'm not like too picky. Like I've lived in college dorms and if you live in a college dorm, then you know, that's the trenches. If I could live there, I could live anywhere. So I'm not like super bougie or anything about my apartment. Um, as long as it has a washer and dryer and it's decently safe, I'm good. But this is more of like a luxury style apartment. So um, with this apartment, I got 5% off my rent because of my employer and I don't have to pay a deposit. So I was just like, okay, like oh, I'm down, like I'm for this. Um, so my rent would be like $1,500 a month, which I know a lot of people would say is crazy, but honestly for the area that I live in, it's kind of like the norm. Like I got really lucky when I moved out the first time, my rent was like 1100, but mind you, it was a high rise and I didn't have a washer and dryer. It was a basically like a, you know, what you see is what you get type of apartment. It was, it had all the basic amenities. I had everything I needed basically. Um, but that apartment is at full capacity. Honestly, I'm the type of person where I don't move backwards in life. I want to keep moving forward. So there's no point in me moving back to that city where I was. I kind of want to experience something new. So I still had this apartment in my back pocket, but then I was thinking, you know, at this point in my life, I have no ties to anything, like absolutely nothing. Like, I don't know, I just realized that, or I'm just like embracing the fact that I have absolutely no ties, so I can do literally whatever I want to do. <laughs> and that is absolutely terrifying, absolutely terrifying, because if you're an overthinker, you want to make the right choice. <laughs> so I'm trying to make the right choices with all the choices that I have. I realized that I don't have to stay in this area. I can move wherever I want because I telework. So I guess like upon looking and everything, I saw that I can pay a lot less for more um, if I move to another state basically. If I move to another state, then I will pay a lot less for more. Um, but it's just like, it would just be like completely out of my comfort zone. And that's honestly the thing that I'm scared about is I've been in this area my whole life granted i moved to different cities in this region i guess like this region area but i've never like moved out of state i might have felt like i was out of state but i've never moved out of state i was looking at the rent prices y'all it was like night and day it was like 900 dollars for a two-bedroom apartment okay where where do they have that where not around here so that's something that i've been like pondering on i really don't have a reason to settle on anything it's pretty much just what I want to do and what God's plan is for me and what makes me happy um which is hard because I don't even know like what makes me happy so I don't know I've just been like thinking about that just thinking about where I want to go 
what I want to do, what, what, what is my ultimate goal? And honestly, my ultimate goal is to be financially free. Um, it's kind of like, even though I love the area, and honestly, I don't even know if I love it. I'm just used to it. It would be in my comfort zone to pay five, six hundred dollars more, but I could pay less. And I can definitely say that every time that I've gotten out of my comfort zone, I've never regretted it. Like not even once. Not even once that I've regretted it. So, I don't know. I'm just going to have to pray on it and just see. But I'm going to definitely check out apartments in other areas next month and see what my options are. Just go from there. And also with that, since I am planning to move out, um, I did decide that I'm probably going to delay my program another year. Um, if you're new here, I was trying to get into an x-ray program, uh, which was a little over $10,000 to even get in. And um, because I'm taking a summer class right now, I miss a lot of the scholarship deadlines. So my opportunities for scholarships are, a lot of them are pretty much over with. I will probably have to wait until next year to even apply. Like when it comes to school, I do not want any more school loans. Like I just, I cannot have any more. I do not want that for myself, especially at, you know, in my late twenties, that's just not something that I want. So if I can't go for free or, you know, even if I have to take out loans, I wouldn't want to take out more than 10000 because that's just, no, I just never want this to happen again. So uh, I'm learning the process of delayed gratification. Um, school will always be there. So if I do get accepted to the program right now and the fact that, you know, I'll be paying rent and, you know, different things like that, I would possibly have to take out a loan. And that's just something that I'm not willing to do right now. I'm going to go ahead and delay the program for another year and just stack up money, try to save as much as I possibly can because when I go to school, I basically want to take a sabbatical. Um, I only want to be able to work part time and I want to do it comfortably. If I can't do it comfortably, then it's just not meant for me at all. Like anything that's meant for me, everything will just go completely smooth and it, like it, the plan will just be laid out for me. But when I try to force things on my own terms, it, it just never works out and I just leave. I just get stressed out and that's just not worth it to me. So next year, I'm definitely going to be applying to more scholarships on top of saving um, because I won't have any classes. It was hard for me to even, you know, apply for scholarships because I do have my last summer class, but this is my last prerequisite. And after this, I'm done with school until I actually apply to the program. So I'm really trying to close this class out and hopefully get a B or A, probably a B. I'll take a B at this point. <laughs> But if I can do that, then I'll just be focusing on, you know, the money portion after that. All in all, I'm very excited. Um, like I said, I have a lot of choices that I can make. And it's honestly a blessing because a lot of people don't have the freedoms that I have. You know, I don't have any kids. I'm single, you know, it's just me. So I can really do whatever I want to do. But I also acknowledge that with that freedom, it also becomes a responsibility well, like I want to be responsible with my choices um, I want to think about my future I want to think about my future family so me going back to school rocking up more debt is just no that's just not gonna happen but I will keep you guys posted on my apartment hunt I might just vlog it and show you guys like the things that I'm looking at and the price ranges if you guys are interested in that but I'm gonna go ahead and get to this cash stuffing okay Amazon I did work um, 21 hours and I got paid $251 and as you guys know for each paycheck I do budget for my gas and my car maintenance because I do drive further away um, because fulfillment center is in another state so I'm gonna make sure my car is covered and after paying these I do have $231 going straight to my debt so that's awesome so I'm gonna post on the screen that payment and I'm gonna post my new balance so you guys will see that as well. And the extra $30 I will be cash stuffing. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this to the side and pull out my wallet. I did go to the ATM and I took out a little bit more um, because I have my trip, my Atlanta trip coming up. So I took out some extra money that was already in my account so I can stuff my vacation envelope.
So let's start with the gas. Let's go all the way back to the gas. Okay. All right, so here's my gas tab. I already have some money in here. I have a half tank, but I'm gonna be doing some driving this weekend. I have some plans. So I need to make sure I have money for that. So for gas, I did give $10 for that. So now for gas, I have 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So $28 for gas, which is perfect. Um, I think that'll definitely fill up my half tank and it will keep me full until next week when I get paid for my full-time job. So I'm gonna put this back. And now my gas is covered. Alrighty, so next is my sticking fun binder. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to car maintenance. And I'm gonna pull this out and I did give car maintenance $20. So let's see. So car maintenance has 100, 120, 140, 160, 180. So 180 bucks. And I do have my oil change next week. So I would definitely have enough for that. And also they gave me a $20 off coupon and we love to see it. So I don't know how much it's gonna cost, but hopefully this envelope won't be hit too hard. And I do have some leftover money that I did take out. So let's count this 5, 10, oops, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So I have an extra $20. And I'm going to go ahead and add this to my Atlanta trip money. So let's go ahead and add this. And I did make a budget for the vacation. But honestly, the hair braiding, I'm probably going to take off because I don't need it. And I have to take for an apartment now. So it's not like, it's not like a dire need for me. Um, clothing and pedicure, I am going to keep. And I already have $100 for spending. So um, when I get paid next week, I am going to contribute a little bit more to this envelope. And then that'll be that. If you are new here, I did select it for a trip by my school. They're paying for our food, our transportation, our activities. They're pretty much paying for all the basics. And anything extra that we want to do, I'll have extra money for that. In this trip envelope, I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 1, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So I probably will add an extra 100 when I get paid next week. And then that'll take care of that. Like I'll have extra money to buy some new clothes, a few new pieces. I have money to get um, my nails done. And I'll have extra spending money when I get out there. So that's pretty much that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for listening to my life update. I'm really excited to see what the future holds. Either way, I'm still going to push towards my financial freedom goal. And it might require me to get out of my comfort zone. Which, honestly, like I said, I've never gotten out of my comfort zone and regretted it. So, we'll see what happens. And I'll keep you guys updated on the journey. So, say I'm on look out for my paycheck cash stuffing from last week. I'm a little behind. And I will have two paycheck. Actually, three. Yeah, I have I will have three paycheck cash stuffings next week because I have my Amazon income, I'll have my overtime income, and I'll have my regular paycheck income. So next week's gonna be a very big week. So stay on the lookout for that. And I think that's basically it. Hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Bye guys.